Welcome back to Creative Concepts. I'm Eric Stams, and this month we're going to be looking at melodic interplay on the drum kit in a jazz context. Example number one, traditional jazz ride line and stepped hi-hat on two and four. Example number two shows quarter notes. These can be played anywhere on the kit, against the jazz ride line and hi-hat. In this case, we're going to create a conversation between the snare drum and the bass drum. We'll start by playing two bars on the snare drum, and then two bars on the bass drum, and then one bar of each, and then half a bar of each, and then one beat each. We can start to distribute it um, as a constantly alternating pattern. You can also reverse the melody by starting on the bass drum. Number three shows offbeat eighth notes. In this case, they're going to be swung. So we're going to interpret the straight eighths on the page with the triplet feel. First, the melody. One, Example number four shows constant eighth notes. Again, we're going to swing them. So it's one, a two, a three, a four, a one. Reverse the melody.
there are lots of melodic possibilities within all of these rhythmic patterns. So for instance, just by way of example, we can play paradiddle stickings between the bass drum and the snare drum. So consider all the right hand notes of the paradiddle as bass drum notes, and all the left hand notes on the snare drum. And we can go through all the inversions. And this is a nice exercise, but it's also um, a good way of creating some melodic phrasing. So example number five, a little bonus here for you. We can also work on the middle note of the triplet, which we haven't addressed at all before. So it's one trip, two trip, three triplet, four triplet. And now with the hi-hat. How about the last two notes of the triplet? One, two. 